What's up everybody? It's time to boil some heads. A lot of you requested that I do the European mount video. Um, I already boiled and pressure washed the fallow deer and my wife's buck and I got the one horn buck in the pot right now. I had to tie it up because it was uh, the whole horn was going down into the pot. So the first steps that I do, um, obviously you cape all the skin off the deer and it makes your life so much easier the more that you do before you start the boiling process. So every piece of meat that you can get off with a knife without cutting into the skull you want to get off. It just makes your life so much easier. She's rolling now. Um, so I let the, once I cape it and get as much meat off as possible, uh, you want to take the eyes out, all the fat behind the eyes, everything like that. Um, you leave it in boiling water and I kind of look for the skin to split on the forehead. Uh, it'll start peeling back and that's when you take it to the pressure washer. I a local beauty supply store where I normally get the um, peroxide and all they have is 30 volume. Um, the liquid 30 volume, a lot of people use the cream. Uh, my dad uses the cream and I've done it as well. But I wanted to try it this time with the 30 volume. So I got a gallon of that. I'm gonna let this head finish boiling up and then I'm gonna take it to the pressure washer and I'll show you what I do at the pressure washer. All right guys, so this is what kind of what it'll look like after you pull it out of the out of the pot, but I'm gonna just get after it with the pressure washer. All right guys, so this is what you're left with. I had to take a break. Isn't that crazy? There's nothing there, no pedicule or nothing. Just a little nub. Just get off as much as you can. Um, so now we're gonna take it into the shop and uh, put the uh, tweezers to it and just peel off and scrape off anything else that the uh, pressure washer couldn't get. Pull the brain out and uh, any cartilage that just wouldn't come off. So take it into the shop, show you how we do it in there. Take these. I don't know what this is gonna turn out like with uh, 30 volume, but I guess we're gonna find out. Just keep it in there a little longer probably. Now I'm going to add uh, enough water to uh, cover the head. So I got the water in there and I'm going to start get this thing boiling. Now while that's starting to boil, um, I'm going to work on this head and just pick off as much stuff as I can. Um, there's not a whole lot left on it at all, but uh, just the little things that I can get to, I'm going to, so. So I like I have a pair of these, uh, the longer the better really, 
And then I like to have a screwdriver, you can kind of scrape at stuff. Like little stuff like that that just would not come off. Um, that's where the ears are, I already broke the holes out. These deer have, they're already holes and you can break out the, I guess it's the, I don't know, the eardrum or what, but uh, I already broke those out. And you just take the, uh, you just take all the fat. See, that's part of the, the ear hole, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a, I'm no biologist. I'm gonna reach in here and pull your brain out. Try not to do it in pieces like I'm doing. It's a lot easier to pull it out in one piece if you can. Just kind of get in there and grab onto it and twist it. And not like that. There's your brain casing. That's pretty much it in there. And uh, just little stuff like this going on there. So I got my wife's deer in there right now. Um, another thing I do before I put them in there, you take uh, just regular saran wrap and wrap the base of the horn uh, so it doesn't bleach your horn. And then uh, you can wrap that in duct tape just to keep it, uh, keep it on there good. It is time to put the deer in the peroxide. I made a mess out of my shop. It's all right, I love doing stuff like this. All right, so this is gonna be a lot easier than the other two deer because uh, this deer only has one horn. Just take you a piece of saran wrap. It never works the way you want it to. Fold it up a little bit and then uh, try to get as close as possible around the uh, the base of the horn. You actually can go a little bit over it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Just wrap it up the horn um, enough to where you think it's safe to where it won't touch the water. And then uh, take your duct tape or your electrical tape and just wrap that on there so it doesn't come off. This keeps the uh, the reason why I put the saran wrap on there is so the uh, the electrical tape will melt and stick to your horn. It leaves like a residue on there. So now it's ready. I just stabbed myself in the face. It's ready to go in the pot now. So she's boiling. Stick it in. And uh, I'm gonna leave it in the pot uh, for a good 10 minutes. Uh, just make sure it really penetrates the skull, um, gets it white. Alright guys, I'm letting this head boil and uh, I'm just sitting here. I know a lot of you have asked where you... Yo, yeah, show Jimmy what you can do for the boys from Oklahoma, dude. Boys from Oklahoma. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys will dig it or not, but... Um, so, I'm going to do a giveaway for five people and the rules of the giveaway you have to go to my Instagram Mike the Mullet Man follow my Instagram account like the picture that I'm gonna post with these skulls um, tag five friends and then leave a comment of your most memorable hunt so I think that would be pretty fun and then I'll personally DM the five winners uh, whoever I think has the best five comments of their most memorable hunt I'm gonna send them a shirt hat and some stickers so be sure to go like that picture and comment on it. Um, I'll post the winners on Thursday's video. And uh, I'll post this picture today uh, when this video uploads. And...
be sure to get over there to my Instagram. I'm going to pick five winners. And I think it'll be pretty fun since I don't have a website up yet. Uh, you can't get the merch. But uh, until then, I'm going to do giveaways. So stay tuned. All right, guys. She's ready to take out. You can't really tell. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take it and go uh, wash it off real quick. Alright, so this is the finished product. Um, I'm not super happy with the one horn. One thing you don't want to do that I did is uh, cape it and then let it sit for a week or two. Um, that blood soaks in and, and kind of stains the, uh, the skull, but uh, it, it turned out alright. The other two turned out really well. The tape off this guy. So you can see that oxide did get into the horn a little bit. Uh, I'm not worried about that at all. Isn't that so crazy though? One horn buck, he's been like that for three years as far as I know. He could have been like that for his whole life. I have no idea, but um, that's just, that's weird. I've never seen that. So these are the three, the three that I did today. Um, this is my wife's buck. She hadn't seen it yet, so I'm gonna go inside and uh, show her how it looks, see what she thinks. Let's go show, uh, let's go show Angel her buck and see what she thinks. Working. What do you think? I like it. Well, that's gonna look good right here. What, right here, you think? So this is a professionally clean deer, a uh, professionally done European mount, and this was what I did. And uh, you can't tell a difference. So it really saves you a lot of money if you uh, want to do something like this at home. It's really easy and it's fun to do, so. Well, she approved, so that's good. And the last step uh, you can do, kind of give it a little sheen, is some of this mop and glow. I think I got it at Home Depot. So what you can do is just take a little, uh, like an old sock or something, and, uh, whoops. You just wanna wipe these heads down. Makes it smell good and uh, kind of gives it that little extra sheen if you're gonna hang it on the wall or something. All right, well that's gonna end this video. Um, I hope y'all got to see what you wanted to see. Uh, they turned out pretty good. But uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment uh, if there's anything else y'all wanna see. Um, in 2019, I wanna try to do as many things as possible. And um, I, wouldn't ha I wouldn't be here without you guys, so um, leave a comment on what y'all wanna see, and I'll do my best to get it done. And remember, eat good.